Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today for another pick a card video. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Melissa and today's topic that we're going to be reading on is going to be a love reading and specifically we're going to be digging into today how your person of interest is truly feeling about you. So this reading will be great for any person out there who may be in separation from someone and maybe you're curious to get a little temperature check on how they're feeling about you or the situation. This can also be great for anyone out there that's just needing a little bit of clarity about a particular person or a particular connection. I will say, you guys, just as a quick disclaimer, when it comes to these readings where we are tapping into another person, please keep in mind that the best way for you to find out how your person's truly feeling about you is to just have a direct conversation, right? But the tarot cards can definitely help us to uncover anything hidden that's going on. But I do encourage all of my viewers, if you do find yourself attracted to videos like these and you find yourselves attracted to them a lot, I always recommend just having a conversation if you can, uh, cause that's always the best way to get clarity. Just hear it straight from the horse's mouth, right? <laughs> So with that being said, you guys, um, also keep in mind that these readings are general in nature. So some messages may be specifically for you while others may not. If you all do want to book a personal reading, I do have all of the details on how you can do that in the description box down below. So let's go ahead and get into our card selection for today's reading. We are going to be working with three piles today. Starting here on the left, we have pile one, which is some smoky quartz. We have pile two, which is some um, appetite, and then pile three, which is a strawberry quartz. So I would love for you all to go ahead and take a deep breath. Think about your person. Think about your connection with them. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and select the card or crystal that you're feeling the most intuitively guided to. You can click the timestamps linked below to fast forward to your reading. Hey there, pile number one. So if you guys chose the smoky quartz, then this is gonna be your reading all about how your person is currently feeling about you. So we're gonna go through these cards uh, one cluster at a time, but please stay tuned till the end because I have some message cards from your person as well so we can get some deeper insight into their thoughts and feelings. So starting off here with your tarot cards, pile number one, how are they feeling? So we have the message here, oof, ouch, okay. So we have the message here of the two of wands and the message of the three of swords. So pile number one, it's interesting that you all chose the smoky quartz because smoky quartz is a stone that helps us to move through pain. It helps us to move through depression, anxiety, um, and I'm definitely sensing that your person is in a little bit of a tough space as it pertains to this connection at this time. So we do have the three of swords here. This is kind of the more, the more major card that's catching my eye. This is really telling me that your person is feeling very sad about this connection. They feel heartbroken for some of them. And with this two of wands being right next to it, I do feel that there is this element of like confliction here. So even though they're feeling as though they're experiencing some pain from this connection or feeling pain with regard to you specifically, it's like they still have sort of like one foot in and one foot out of the connection. So for some of you all, if you were drawn to pile one, I'm feeling like maybe some of you are still in contact with this person. And if you are still in contact with this person and they're coming across as a little bit scattered or a little bit um, just in and out um, or distracted, the reason why is because they're trying to figure out what move they want to make. They're trying to kind of figure out what it is that they want to do moving forward with this connection. I do somewhat feel an element of missing you as well for some. So for those of you who are not in communication with this person at this time, I do feel that though they are feeling the, like a pain from this relationship or sadness over it ending, it's almost like they are looking for you. That's really the vibe, the energy that I'm getting for some of you out there. So let's move forward to some of the other cards and see what other messages come through. So we have the message here of shy, okay? 
And then we also have the message here of secrecy. The letter S might be of significance for some of you. I don't know why. I feel like I was guided to share that. Maybe somebody's name here starts with an S. Um, so there is definitely, like I was saying before with this two of wands, you guys, there is this feeling of hesitation that I'm picking up with your person. So it's like they're wanting to come forward and make some sort of a move toward you, but they're feeling indecisive about how to do it. And I do feel that this person might be second guessing themselves um, as it pertains to making any sort of decisive action with regard to this connection, there is a lot of nervousness here for some of them. Um, but more so it's like taking their time, trying to figure out what it is that's going to be best for them. So there's a lot of second guessing here, a lot of wishy-washy feelings that are coming through with this person. We also have the message here of secrecy, you guys. So for some of you out there, this three of swords could have to do with betrayal. So I would just be really cautious. You know, this person could be in another connection or perhaps they see that you're in another connection. Um, so they're kind of surveying the situation and trying to figure out like the risk versus the reward here. Um, Cause there is something with this person about needing to keep this relationship in the dark or needing to be discerning, needing to use discretion for some particular reason. Every situation out there is going to be a little bit different, but just know that for the majority of you out there, I do feel that this person is surveying the risk versus the reward and really needing, feeling like this need to be very careful. Okay, let's get into the last few cards here. So we do have the invitation of love. And then we also have the stars align, favorable outcome. So the invitation of love, again, is just further, further echoing that message, you guys, that they do feel like they want to communicate with you. They Maybe some of them want to actually give you a gift and they're trying to plan this out. Um, for, some out for someone out there, I feel like there was some fight and this person is trying to like figure out their way back in and they might charm you with a gift. <laughs> That's just like a random... A random vibe that I'm picking up on here with that invitation of love, but this really just furthers the message of them wanting to initiate and wanting them to reach out to you. But there's still this hesitation around how to do it, when to do it, um, if they should even do it, because we do have the favorable outcome. This talks about the stars aligning. So it's almost this energy of wanting to wait until the stars align, quote unquote, to make sure that the timing is right, because it does feel for this person that the timing right now with initiating something in a very decisive way might be a little bit off, okay? But I do feel this person has a lot of hope and inspiration with regard to you for the future. Um, so even if right now they're feeling like very wishy-washy and uncertain, I do think that they think about a future with you. And I feel like they think of like what it could feel like in the future for the stars to align and them to be able to connect with you. So Let's get into some of your message cards, pile number one. Hopefully you guys made it through to the end here. This is just going to give us a little bit of deeper insight into some thoughts or feelings your person might be having. So we have, I'm embracing my power. This makes a lot of sense because I do feel that your person is trying to figure out how to step into their power and how to take the lead in the situation, how to make a decision. Okay. We have what's my purpose. Okay, so even more messages coming through here with your person regarding themselves and their own individual space that they're in. Um, I think this makes a lot of sense, you guys, when we have something like a three of swords, especially with the two of wands here. You know, this is really telling me your person may be in a space of healing right now, and they're trying to focus on themselves. They're trying to explore their options, trying to figure out what's the best move for them. Finally, we have, I'm scared of what's ahead. So there is that hesitation being mirrored here again, you guys. So I definitely think that you're a person, though they are intrigued by you and though they feel this urge to connect and reach out, there's a lot of fear that's blocking them. And it feels like they are very much trying to focus on their, their purpose, focus on their own selves right now as well. So it's a lot of different things happening in this scenario, but that's kind of the gist of what I'm picking up here for you, Pile 1. So I hope that this was able to help you out. Please shoot me a comment down below in the description box and let me know how this resonated with your person and your situation. Thank you all so much for taking the time to view today's video. 
I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hey there, pile number two. So if you guys chose the blue appetite tower, let's go ahead and find out how your person is currently feeling about you or about this connection. Um, we are going to go through all these cards today one by one, but please stay tuned, stay tuned until the end because we do have some message cards that I'm going to be pulling here so that we can get a little bit of some deeper insight into what your person might be thinking. Okay. So we are going to start off here with your tarot cards, pile number two. And from the tarot, we start off here with the five of wands. Ooh, goodness. Clarified here by the five of cups. Okay. So right off the bat, pile number two, your person is feeling like they're in a very challenging position as it pertains to this connection. Five of wands is telling me that there's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of banter. I think that with regard to you, they may be feeling as though they have to compete for your attention. They may be feeling as though communication has been a little bit tough. Um, it's interesting you all chose the blue appetite as well. This is a super beautiful blue stone and blue stones are great for healing the throat chakra. So I think if there has been a breakdown in communication here, I, I feel like for sure communication is a factor for this person. Like tough words, tough environment, tough competition, like all of these things are causing them to feel very chaotic right now at this time. We also have the five of cups here. So what this is telling me is that your person is feeling maybe a little bit disappointed with this relationship right now. I think they're feeling a little bit sad and they are in a space right now where they seem to be more challenged to focus on the positive side of things. So they are really, I'm feeling them being very closed off. I feeling them, I'm feeling them being very like protective over their feelings and they are in a space where it seems like they're emphasizing the negativity of the connection versus focusing in on the positive aspects here. Okay. There could, for some of you all, also be a lot of other people or maybe even just chaotic energy around this person that's causing them to struggle when it comes to communicating with you or when it comes to their feelings for you. We're going to pull some other messages and see what comes through with the Oracle. So we have take a chance and then we have on guard. So yeah, wow, lots of very tough energy here, you guys, with your person. I think... You know, I was mentioning before that this person is feeling like there's a lot of competitive energy to get to you. And so with this taking a chance, this talks about having to play a game. This talks about having to um, roll the dice, quote unquote, to really like make yourself stand out or really put forth a lot of effort to win something or someone over. So they do feel that they have to maybe do a lot. There's a lot of competitive energy here. We have on guard as well. Competing for someone is the first message popping up there. So I think your person might be feeling like they are hopeless in the situation or they don't really stand a chance with regard to getting your attention. Um, I'm almost seeing them as feeling like maybe they're not good enough here um, because there's that five of cups energy that I keep being drawn to. And so it's like, all of this message of like stiff competition and, and difficulty. The number five also means challenges coming through. So I feel like your person is maybe kind of struggling right now. I feel like they're kind of um, emotionally putting up a wall because maybe they're feeling like they just don't stand a chance and they're trying to protect themselves a little bit. So we have delight and desire. And then we have the real deal. So here's the warm and fuzzies, you guys. <laughs> I definitely think this person does have, they definitely view you as being somebody that's worth fighting for. I do feel this person, it's like they view you as the prize, like the ultimate prize, because we have the real deal. We have delight and desire. These are like wedding images, you guys. It's like the engagement ring and the wedding cake. So a part of them is feeling like, you are somebody that they could see themselves being with for the long haul. Um, you're somebody that they would want to be able to like claim and put a ring on it, if you will. Um, I think that they really enjoy spending time with you when you guys do have the opportunity to connect in a positive way. And I definitely think that they want, like the intention here seems to be to like commit, but there's something going on between the both of you that's causing them to feel very conflicted and very challenged as it relates to this relationship. So hopefully you guys made it to the end because we do have some oops, message cards here. So I want to get some deeper insight into some of your person's thoughts and feelings. All right. So we have the message here of, I want to do things right. So this is interesting. 
I definitely can pick this up from your person is like because they see you as being the real deal and of high value, um, a lot of this conflict energy that I'm picking up on, this could be internal. So if you all are not in, co in contact with this person and you're like, Melissa, what are you talking about? Like, we're not fighting, everything's cool. This could also be an internal battle that they're fighting with themselves because they have like an issue with perfection. They want things to be done a certain way. They wanna do things right by you. I think they just wanna make sure that everything is perfect is kind of the vibe that I'm picking up on here. Look at this, you guys, I feel insecure. What was I saying about that five of cups? It's like part of them just doesn't feel as though they're good enough or that they're really quite measuring up to your standards. So if you guys have a lot of, some of you out there might have a lot of love interest and this is intimidating them, or maybe they perceive you to be having a lot of people around you vying for your attention. But again, for others, like they could just be making this up in their head, you know, like, and it's causing them to feel really like, like they're not competent <laughs> to be able to come forward to you. And then finally we have, I'm not sure. Yeah. So there's a little bit of uncertainty here with your person, pile number two. You know, they're definitely in a space of conflict. They're definitely in a space of, um, you know, inner turmoil, maybe outer turmoil. Some of you will have to let me know kind of what that communication is looking like between the both of you. But yeah, they see you as somebody that's like the real deal. They see you as somebody that they want to be with, but it feels like they may not feel as though they're up to the challenge right now. Your person may also be dealing with some depression outside of this connection. They may be dealing with some disappointments outside of the connection, and this might be lowering their stamina, lowering their ability to be able to kind of go after you with confidence. Um, key message that's standing out for me for you, Pile 2, is here with this on guard. Need space, takes time. So I think your person is probably, it's probably going to be a little while for this group until this person feels like they've done the inner work enough to be like really up to the challenge or really up to um, the task of moving forward with this connection. They're definitely going through some times of change right now. So I would just recommend being patient with this person as they process through this. So pile two, hopefully this was helpful. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this reading. I will see you guys in the next video. Hey there, pile number three. So if you guys chose this beautiful strawberry quartz, let's go ahead and find out how your person is currently feeling about you and about this connection. Please stay tuned till, excuse me, pile three, please stay tuned until the end. We're gonna go through all of your cards, but then we also have some message cards so we can get some deeper insight into your person's thoughts and feelings and how um, they're really perceiving this connection right now. So those will be shared at the end. So starting off here with your tarot cards, pile number three. So we have the message here of the six of swords as well as the page of pentacles. Okay. So for some of you guys, the past is of significance with this person. Um, the reason I feel this way is because both of your cards are looking toward the past direction. So for some, you may have a past connection with them. This might be an ex, it might be a past life relationship, someone you've known in a previous lifetime, but there is something about the past for some of you that are viewing this out there. I do feel a very calm energy from your person and I feel a very curious energy from your person, but yeah, calm and curious are definitely coming to mind here. I feel like your person is in a space of wanting to move on or move forward. You know, so if you've been in co like in conflict with this person, I'm getting the impression here that they're trying to move away from that conflict. Um, and with the page of pentacles showing up here, there's a lot of curiosity about you um, and the willingness or wanting to communicate, but this feels very slow. Like the energy I'm picking up on right now for you, pile three is very slow moving. Um, so I have to say that. For some that are viewing this, I do feel like your person is trying to move away from this, this connection. They, they're trying to branch out on their own, but they, it's like they're still keeping tabs on you in some way, shape, or form. The way that this person is examining that pentacle is very studious, right? So it's like there's something here about them studying you or keeping tabs on you in some way that's coming through. 
I want to see a few more messages here because this one is, let's see, ah, okay. So we do have the message here of the bride. We also have the document. So communication is a, is a thing here for some of you guys because the page of pentacles also has to do with communication and this person is wanting to communicate with you. Um, we do have the message here of the document here. So this has to do with contracts. It has to do with legal proceedings that could be of significance for some of you viewing this. You'll have to let me know in the comments below. This also simply has to do with communication, as does the Page of Pentacles. So I do feel this person is in space of wanting to have some sort of a formal communication with you. However, it's like they feel as though they need to study something before they can co contact you. We do have the message here of the bride. So for some of you, this might be referring to like a person that you're in a romantic connection with. Um, the message that's really catching my eye here is the message here of advancement here at the very bottom. So this bride energy is about moving something forward. Like we were saying with that six of swords, it's about like moving on from something. I do feel very strongly that this person sees you as somebody who is like a bride. Like they see you as somebody that um, is like worthy of commitment. They see you as somebody who is like a long-term partner. There is just something here about like communication and contracts, which I'm kind of curious to hear how that pertains to you all. Maybe this person for some of you wants to like move this connection forward and propose. That's definitely a message that's coming through, but it's like they're trying to be very planful about it and moving very slow into that process. They're, like the energy I'm picking up on pile number three, it's not super emotional, I have to say. Like, it feels very like mature and thoughtful and planful, if you will. Like they're, your person's really thinking things through about how they want to advance this connection. For some of you, that six of swords may indicate that they're wanting to physically move with you as well. Um, so lots of different situations popping up. Let's see what else comes through. Okay, so we do have the heart storm here. Look at this. We also have look at what the cat dragged in. Oh my goodness. I feel like pile threes always have like multiple different types of scenarios going on here. So please forgive me if your reading feels a little scattered. Because <laughs> um, I'm feeling some positive energy here, but I'm also feeling like some other conflicting energy of maybe being like moving on. So it's like, I feel half of you guys that are like viewing this reading for pile three are like your person's wanting to move on from this totally. Whereas for others of you, it's almost like they're trying to like plan their return. You know what I mean? We have the message of the heart storm here. So what I was saying before with that six of swords is like this person is certainly wanting to move forward and move away from any challenges from this connection. Um, if they do have any sort of turbulent feelings remaining about you, they're very much in a space of calm. Like they're wanting to move away from that. They're wanting to remain peaceful with this connection. We also have look what the cat dragged in, return and apologies. So I do feel this person is trying to like strategically plan their communication here <laughs> to make sure that they are entering back into your life in the proper way. Like they don't want to come across crazy. They certainly want to come across as very like level-headed and mature is the vibe I'm getting here. But they're taking their time trying to figure out the right way to do it. So let's go ahead and see pile three, what messages come through for your person. I'm very curious to learn this. <laughs> so we start off with I'm healing family issues. So yeah, this person may have some stuff going on in their life um, external to this connection with their family that they're trying to heal, that they're trying to move forward from. So if, this, if things have felt slow to progress here, pile number three, this is likely why. There's external factors coming through here. Let's see. We have we are meant to be. Yeah, so for some of you guys out there, this person very much sees you as like the one, the bride, the long-term partner that they've always wanted. Maybe for some of you who are already with this person, um, they recognize and they're just reaffirming here that they feel like you're their person that they want to advance connection with. And then we have, I'm so happy. So yeah, you definitely bring this person a lot of joy and happiness and positivity into their life. There's definitely this very sense of like a very serene, like 
calm energy with this person. Um, so this happiness card really makes a lot of sense. I do feel like for a lot of you viewing this, this person views you as their bright spot. So pile three, I believe those are all the messages coming through. Like I said, I apologize if it's a little scattered because I feel like there's a ton of different scenarios <laughs> popping through in this reading, but please let me know in the comments below how this resonated with you. Thank you so much for viewing today's video and I will catch you in the next one.